everyone, welcome back to another theatre vlog. Today I'm joined by a very special guest. I'm with Sean, who's very distracted because I've just given him a whole bunch of playbills. Because uh, this is the first time, this is the first time we've seen each other this whole year. When was the last time we saw each other? Like November? It's been too long, it's been far too long. So we're going to see a show this afternoon. Um, I've already seen it, but I just wanted to see it again and I wanted to take Sean. So very excited. And yeah, Sean's just looking very... I'm, you, you, you know. <laughs> I'm just really paying attention. Just look really, like really intellectual, which is obviously a good thing. Well, I'm just looking at flies, not intellectual. Yeah, like, like, it's just the way you're looking at them. Well, I'm trying to really take them in. Good, I'm glad. What's your favorite one so far? I know which oh. one it is. He's Bernie Peters. Yeah, he's Bernie Peters. Isn't it cute? That was in the Hello Dolly one. Inside bit of, the plate. Yeah, yeah, bit of advertising for Carousel there. Um, That's a really attractive market. Isn't it? Show them, show them. It's so pretty. Yeah, go on. I'm really sad that that one wasn't open when I was over there. That would have been really nice to see. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yes, we're having some lunch. Yes! <laughs> that vlog's coming out on Saturday. Yeah, that one's gorgeous. That one's that one's, one. I think that one's my favourite as well. Like, it's so nice. Oh, that was my favourite one. <laughs> Did I remember to put the Wicked one in? Yeah, yeah, the okay, cool. one's the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Thank you, Adrian. No worries. I want to know your opinions on the waitress one. What, the picture? Yeah. I can't see it. I kind of oh, like okay. it. Yeah, Do you not like it at all? I'm not like the biggest fan. I think they could have done better with it. I think it. it's one of those things that like one day people will look back and it'll be like noted one that's like weird. Yeah. yeah. People are like, do you remember that weird design? Yeah, because it's The context weird. is the, the photograph of the two. Yeah. It's like an iPhone picture. I kind of love it. Um, I kind of think it's so horrible. It's brilliant. <laughs> that is literally yeah, Sean's like mood. So it could be worse. I don't, can't say I'm Well, I don't mind it, but I just don't. Yeah. Don't say. <laughs> so anyway, we're having lunch at a place. What is this place called? The Horniman, the Horniman's on the Hay or something? Yes. We're by Hayes Galleria, because I took us the wrong way, and then I just thought, well, we may as well come through Hayes Galleria, because that's pretty. Didn't actually film any of it, my bad. Um, I'll film it on the way out. And then, yeah, we're going to the Menier Chocolate Factory. Sean's not been there since Into the Woods, which was, I feel like, a thousand years ago. I think it was like 2016, like summer 2016. Really? Okay, well, it was more recent than I thought. Yeah, 20, maybe 2015. Maybe. No, 2016. I was in sixth form. Oh, I remember. Maybe Sean. So yeah, we're going back. Very excited. And yeah, we'll show you what we're up to. Sean is now opening his birthday card. Oh, nice card. I love a nice card. It's come all the way from New York. Oh, is it? Yeah. Thank you, Rakai. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, dead cat. Yeah. That's actually covering Rakai's face, so it's, you can't see my vision. No, that's better. <laughs> Yes, from New York, and um, our lunch has just arrived. We both gone, well, I took a hunter's chicken, and then Sean copied me, so... I did? Because I'm unoriginal. Yeah, we got, don't, don't say that. You are original. I'm just going to try and break into that, <laughs> Make it that deep. song from Jamie. <laughs> the, uh, there's a song with something about being original. I don't want to have to think about that yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> Same, let's not. I don't like that show. But yes, this is our lunch. Oh, I thought you were just going to be like with the music <laughs> in the background. So I was like getting prepared for this to be a thing. Oh, okay. How am I feeling? Yeah. I'm feeling excited. I was saying to Rakaia before. Who do I want to look at? I want to look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to Rakaia before about how it isn't necessarily a show I signed myself up mm. to see. So I'm quite excited to go and see something that, like, it feels like a real Yay! surprise. You know, you know, surprise we go. And as I, I said to you yeah. before, well, I said it on Twitter once, <laughs> but I really can't stand the greatest showman. But I do really like the music from Barnes. I'm so excited, to, I'm excited to, I've never seen it as a full production, yeah. so I'm quite excited to see how they come together. And it's just started to snow again. It has, and the little snowman. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with the little snowman. What a dude. Just chilling. <laughs> Welcome to you this afternoon, and to a very 
special performance of Barnum here at the beautiful Manny A. Chocolate Factory. Yes, indeed. If you have not yet got your tickets, please do stop at the window just over there. If you're already holding tickets, I would like to draw your attention to an exhibition of wonders oh, no. featuring life-size illustrations of some of Mr. Barnum's sir. most ridiculous. Sir, we got a problem. We got a big problem. But no yeah. problem. But it's Tom Thumb, sir. He's yeah. gone. We can't find him. He was... He was helping out with the merchandise, and I think they sold him. Oh, uh, uh, no panic. Folks, you grab yourself a drink, and we'll, we'll see you inside. Mind your step, Ronnie. Excuse me. I do apologize. I'll start I'll start action. Ah! Hey, don't right. you mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're so British and that we're not helping, we're just going to observe the situation. Um, um, is he still on the floor? Is he okay, man? I don't know. He's dead, don't worry about it. I said she was If anyone's near you, guys, you know. <laughs> Um. <laughs> you didn't see anything. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> We are now, well, we've been in the Many a Chocolate Factory for about half an hour. No! Guys, I'm really upset. Why are you upset, Sean? Because Jamie Dee is sitting next to us and she's great. I like her a lot. She was really good in Follies recently. She's brilliant. But she wears Uggs. <laughs> So I'm not a fan anymore, Jim. That's it, done. Oh, I'm gonna see a oh, show. I can't do it. Very good. Up my corks. They are. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so we've just been watching the pre show. The pre show entertainment, which Sean has been loving. I'm enjoying this bit, this bit. Yeah. Watching other people today, but it's Yeah. But when the guy died next to us on the floor, that was. That was a bit. I didn't realise you felt this way about pre show entertainment. I'm going to I feel like I feel a bit uncomfortable with just audience participation. I don't think I. I which is funny enough because I don't mind performing at all. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been to a panto since I was about six. I think I've been to one panto in my yeah. life. No, I hate Go to a panto that's. Well, I suppose even. Aladdin just, was like hell. I just don't like. I don't like. Aladdin was a panto enough. I think because I feel uncomfortable with them having to like overact. Do you know what I mean? But like, I feel uncomfortable yeah. for them having to stand there. And overact. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I find them, that they can do this so comfortably. Really amazing. It's the same as I find things like those like experiences when someone dresses up and plays like a Jack the Ripper character. Yeah. So but I just feel a bit embarrassed for them. Thing. I don't mind immersive things. I do really like immersive. I think it's I think it's different when I it's like a two way dialogue. Yeah. I have a problem. I think I feel uncomfortable when it's like they're really into it and I'm really not. Yeah. Like in like if it's like um it's when I saw like a play at Edinburgh that's in a car, it's only like me, and my friend, and someone else. That was obviously the same kind of environment. Yeah. But it was talking at me. I didn't have to react. I was yeah, just, observing. You were just observing. So that doesn't bother me. In the, but if in it, the, but yeah. when it's like talking back and like interacting, I almost want to be like, it's fine you have to do that if you don't want. Like I, I just don't know. It makes me really uncomfortable. I don't know why it is. It just, I've never known this about you. I don't react well to it. I'm sorry. happy to have learned this. And I definitely don't react well to Uggs. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Janie D. <laughs> Sean is no longer a fan. No. But anyway, no, the no, show's going to start in about five or so minutes. So we're going to go in and... There's not, to be honest. There's like a little bit at the start, but only from the ends of the row. So okay. I think it should be fine. Hello. What's going on here? What is this? What is this? Recording you. Hello? Excuse me. What's this fluffy thing on top? I don't see it. Huh? What is that? There's small people stuck it's inside there, sir. Don't touch it, sir. You got people stuck inside your box. Stay back. I love it. I wish Sam, I don't think it's Sam saw this. I think she would have loved this. But anyway, we're going to go in now. <laughs> we'll see you in there. Are you okay? I'm fine. Let's just get the go roll. Let's, Let's go get the show in. Let's go in. Let's go in. So 
it's the interval of a Barnum. I just filmed that clip, so it's repeating myself. Um, I repeat that I feel a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> um, why do you feel tired, Sean? I don't know, I just feel a bit exhausted. I don't know why. I feel exhausted by it. it was quite, it's quite a lot to take in. I wonder how they it's feel, bloody. Yeah, like, there's so much to watch. I think they'll again this evening. And there's another half bit to go. I feel like, oh my God, they must be exhausted. Yeah, ma'am. I am so impressed by the energy. Mm that they all have. Um, I think mustering energy for a midweek match today must be a difficult thing to find. Mm. There's, there's Especially no when like the it, weather's yeah. being how it is and it, that's exhausting kind of in itself as well, just getting to work. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I can lean... Oh, I can lean my arm. That's comfier. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying it for a second time around. There's so much going on that it's nice to have a second viewing. Mm. So I'm enjoying that. Yeah. What's been your favourite bit so far? Great question. Huh? I what can know. I say? I'm full of them. Yeah, I know. I don't really know what my favorite. I don't think about my favorite bits so far. What's favorite? I like the Jenny Lynn bits. I like um, Celinda. Is it Celinda Schoenmacher? Schoenmacher. I like yes. her a lot. I love Who Laura plays, Pitt um, Bulford. Charity. Laura oh, Pitt Bulford, okay. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say it looks a lot like her. Yeah, yeah. it's her. Oh, I'm obsessed. But some likes it doesn't like her. And I was like, maybe it's not her. Yeah. It's, but it is her. Okay, yeah. She's I well. love her. And as well, Harry Francis. That's a bit dodgy there. Yeah, I mean, I got really Random confused. Random observation, every now and then the accents are a little confusing. Yeah, it does confusing. slip a little bit. And, um, and um, what's her name? Celinda? Is yeah. it an uh, R or mm. is it just a Celinda? I um, think Celinda. Her accent reminds me of Miranda Zay. <laughs> when she does the voice in it, she goes, um, yeah. no. <laughs> What's like that? And it's I've like, not oh, watched, I've not watched Miranda sing for a long time. That's just she annoys the voice me. in my head. That's, a, that's, that's funny. That's a funny observation, and I appreciate I'm that. Nice. I'm actually, I'm really, I'm surprisingly enjoying it a lot. I'm really glad. I was worried I because... Think, um, I just think the book's a bit uninteresting. Yeah, like, that's fair It's enough. not in any way even bad. It's just kind of, eh. I think all the musical numbers are fantastic. I yeah. The ensemble's brilliant. I think it's very well done. Mm. I think, I, I was thinking in it, it's got two extremes. I've got absolutely great, mm. and I'm brilliant, or it's just or... average and kind of, I don't really have an opinion. I think that's um, a fair And a fair the really shot. brilliant bits are really brilliant. And, yes. Um, yeah, I'm really, the, I'm really the ensemble are just phenomenal. Mm, yeah. <laughs> like they're insane. It's really, very impressive. Um, I think it's a mix of musical theatre people, but also I think Harry said circus. Yeah, performers. not surprised. So like Some all the, the bits where people are being thrown around. Yeah, I mean, oh I mean the bit I was obviously on the middle, like more towards the middle before. Yeah. The bit where they really throw yeah. her. Oh my god! Yeah. <gasps> I'm glad we aren't oh on that god. side because I think I'd be really so anxious. Really notice, <laughs> even the big bits, you see yeah. someone like. The girl at the very, very end who mm. was right in front of oh, us yeah. was stood on yeah. that guy's knee and his yeah. other foot behind his neck. Yeah. So she's almost like standing like this. On but him. Completely like it was, it's amazing. Um, they're filming this performance, um, which is quite exciting. Um, I don't know if it'll go, probably not for public release, but just for like archive purposes. But that's quite fun as well. Fun little thing to mention. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying this. Yeah, enjoy it. Well, Especially well, after enjoy it. Sean didn't love Greatest Showman, so... No, not at all. Yeah, but it's, but it's very, very different. It's, it's right. totally different. Um, I just didn't like Greatest Showman for some of its parts. It didn't work well for me. That's fair enough. And I'm yeah. surprisingly like Marcus Briggs up more than I thought he would. That's good. I, I agree, he's definitely miscast. I yeah. completely agree with that judgment. I'm confused but I don't, on the casting. I just, but... I just, I just, I'm not even confused by me and Carson Barnum. Just kind of... It just feels like he's wrong media. Yeah. Because I was thinking that the thing I remember him from most, and I think it's too old, uh, you were too yeah. old for this, was Sorry I've Got No Head. And he was in that. Yeah, I'm if lost you, on that. Do you know that? No. I'm going to show you a clip in a minute. Okay. And if anyone does know him, it's the thousand pounds lady. A thousand pounds? And that's exactly what I thought was. Completely no and idea. I say all the time with my friends, I'll show you the video and you'll yeah. get it. And he was in that show on CBBC. And, but yeah, because I, I knew he was CBBC I stuff. can't unsee him out of children things. And he still feels like he's in a children. It just yeah. feels a bit odd. But yeah. it's not bad. He's know, also in, I think, just feels um, weird. a lot of the Experian print ads at the moment, I think. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. So I keep on seeing his face in the tube, and it's for, like, insurance and stuff, and it's very uh, Yeah, I just don't, very I just don't, don't think this is necessarily his medium. Yeah. But, I mean, if there's any role that he'd be good for in, in a musical, I feel like probably this would is be this. probably quite likely. I was thinking about him being in, like, spam a lot. I think he's actually oh, done it, I now think I think has. about it. Yeah, I think he has. But I was thinking I was that's the kind of show he'd be wiki. great in, and then I thought, actually, I think yeah. he's actually been in it, and I think I saw yeah. him in it. So, yeah. um, that's but, probably why I think that. But, I, I, yeah, I just, I don't think that. Yeah. I just think it's just, I concede the argument there. Yeah. But I actually quite like him, and I like him a lot more than I like Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Yeah. Just show him. Anyway, we will leave it at that, and talk to you after the show. Ciao, friends. Ciao for now. <laughs>
that you recorded. <laughs> I was looking at myself to make sure I was like in the frame. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the chatter section of the vlog. It's not the chatter section of the vlog, it's the mini chatter section of the vlog. Oh, sorry, is that going to be another one? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm not going to hold my arm up for like 10 minutes, so well, that's not going to happen. We've done it before. Yeah, true. We did it nearly in the interval, so I'm not surprised. We did. Yeah, my arm still hurts from it. So. If I'm looking away, it's because lots of people are walking past yeah. and I get easily distracted. Sorry. Aww. <laughs> So we are in a pret a manger down the road. We just had a little snack, and I wanted to know Sean's thoughts post Barnet. Yeah, we didn't talk about it. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm quite surprised by how much I enjoyed it. I didn't think I'd yeah. like it very much. I'm um, glad. I thought Act Two was very short. Yeah, it was. And there wasn't as much to it as Act One, but it was still very enjoyable. Yeah. I kind of still stand by all what I said really in the interval. Nothing really changed. Apart from Marcus Brixton, I thought got even yeah. better. I actually thought it got really good. Yeah, he was better this time, I Act think. Two yeah. Was it was much better. Sorry, I, I just mini burped in my mouth there. Sorry. Say it again. Phil. I said I think Marcus Brigstock was much better this time around than he was in Act, Act one. 1. Yeah. I really enjoyed him actually. I think he was very overall good he was stronger this yeah, time around. I think he got a lot better, so I'm, I'm quite I'm yeah. quite impressed overall actually. I thought they were all pretty brilliant. Um, I don't really have anything negative to say yeah. necessarily. I think there were just times where it felt, yeah, the book was just that, but I mean, mm. that is a like they can't fix that, so no, I can't exactly. really complain. They're working what they have, yeah. In, the, in the regards to that production, I can't really complain. Um, but yeah, I just I thought it was really good actually. I just there were some points where I felt it felt a bit. Um, I think it was I think it was obviously instigated by like the audience interaction stuff. Oh, it yeah, felt yeah. a bit like um, panto like yeah. we were saying beforehand. But, it's not um, but that, like kind of, that, that really faded out as time yeah, progressed. Yeah. And, and I think it's quite natural with something like this where there would be audience interaction. There was some cheese, in, that's the way to put it. Yeah. There was some cheese sometimes, mm. um, but then I think it got more down and into it as yeah. time went on. I do feel like a, a little bit weight, it was a bit all over the shop. Mm. I don't think it was necessarily very focused in what they wanted to do. I didn't yeah. feel like there was like a clear, like, right, so this is going to happen. Like, I didn't feel it was a clear vision. It was more. Let's just do it Let's in this do setting. Yeah. It was definitely more atmospheric than it was mm. story based. Do you know what I mean? I it loved was more. That, though. It was more about the vibe yeah. of yeah. being in this, which they made a very this good world. impression of being in a big, you know, a big top, mm. um, which was great. Especially considering the small space. Yeah. Like the minute and considering we were saying how versatile it is. How yeah. when I've been there before, it's more of a raked seating in the. Well, yeah, this stage. is the first show that I've it's, seen I'm so in surprised there. in the round. I wonder how many times they do in the round. I wonder if they don't, but I assume they have done it before. They, they must have, but yeah, I I was the same coming in. I was like, whoa, it, it feels like a complete different venue in a way because it's so different. And I think it seems so much bigger in the round. And it's so impressive when a place like that can transform like that. I mean, they transformed the old Vic ones into in the round for the Crucible a few whoa. years ago. Which, when you think about that, Bill, how on earth is that? How on earth did it transfer? Like, yeah. And it transferred itself into the round. So I think it's really impressive when it can do that. I yeah. think in the round, I don't think even necessarily. Well, I think it did serve itself by actually being in the round for all the activity that went on. Yeah. As a show, apart from the activity, it was just like telling the story. I don't think in the no, round served it around. any, there was no necessity for it. But in terms of the like, circus aspect, yeah, the circus it worked, aspects so worked well. really well for it. So I thought that was really yeah. good, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for taking me for my birthday. Yeah. Had a yeah. really good time. This vlog will be up way later, but wish So my birthday's past. Yeah, so. happy birthday in the comments. Yeah, thanks he deserves everyone. it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to chat more a bit later, but obviously I did do another video, so it's going to be kind of much the same, just a few, a few more comments that I forgot to say the first time around, but yeah. Thanks for having me, everyone. Go follow Sean on all his social media. He yeah, is amazing. Sean's just paid for this promo on my channel, basically. I have, yeah. Ad spawn. <laughs> You know, make sure it's in the thumbnail, yeah. in the title. Hashtag ad. Yeah, hashtag spawn. But anyway, I'm now going to go to Pippin. And Sean is going to... Macbeth at the National. Very so I've got a long night in for me. Yeah. <laughs> Intense. Yeah. Let's hope I don't fall asleep. I wish you luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the chatty section of the vlog. This is just going to be a quick little one because obviously I've already done a video from seeing Barnum at the Menia Chocolate Factory. So if you want to go and read like, well not read, watch my full thoughts on the show then obviously you can go and watch that vlog as well if you want. But I just wanted to have a little chat about seeing it for a second time. I really wanted to see this show again because I really enjoyed it the first time around. I also wanted to take Sean as a little birthday treat for him because it was his birthday the next day and I know he'd sort of ummed and about wanting to see it but he didn't love The Greatest Showman and 
I knew obviously from seeing the show that they were completely different in a way. Obviously like some of the story elements were the same because it's based on the same guy, P.T. Barnum, but I just had a feeling that he was gonna enjoy it way more. So I'm really glad that we were able to do that. It was the first time we'd seen each other this year, which is just mental. So it was a long overdue catch up. As I mentioned, I really enjoyed this show and I really wanted to see it again because as I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the first video, there was just so much going on in this show. I think I even said then that you'd need to see it like two or three times to actually watch everything that's going on because Obviously the circus element of the show was intertwined so incredibly well and there were some songs where there were, it felt like there were a million things happening and you'd want to watch one performer to see what they were doing but then you'd suddenly realise someone else was doing something incredible as well and it was just that whole thing throughout so many scenes so I'm really really glad that we were able, well, I was able to see it again and that Sean was able to see it. It was also really exciting to see something in the many air that's in the round because obviously with a venue like this that can change, as we've seen, you don't know when they're next going to be doing something in the round. So I'm really glad that I've been able to see the theatre in that sort of setup. That's really exciting. I just wanted to reiterate again a few things that I specifically loved about the show. So first of all, it has to be Laura Pitt Pulford as Cherry Barnum. I am, I just love watching Laura in shows. I've been really lucky to actually see her in quite a few things now. And she's just, she's one of those really like, this sounds weird, but like pure flawless performers. Sounds a bit wanky, doesn't it? But it's true. Um, I think she's just so good at everything that she does. And I'm always excited when I see her listed on like a casting announcement, because I'm like, right, I definitely need to try and see that show now. So. Yeah, it was a wonderful thing to see her again. Also, Celinda Schoenmacher playing uh, Jenny Lind. Absolutely hilarious. I love how Jenny Lind is in this version of Barnum. Um, I didn't love her version in the film. I didn't warm to that character at all, but in the stage production, she is just so funny. And obviously Jenny Lind is meant to be an opera singer. And that's another thing that really annoyed me about The Greatest Showman because she didn't sing in any sort of operatic style, whereas Celinda nails that. And to have her doing those incredible notes, like meters away from you, that's astonishing. As I mentioned in the last vlog, Harry Francis is a standout of this show for me. He plays the role of Tom Thumb, as well as being in the ensemble. He is a phenomenal dancer, so his, song as Tom Thumb, I can't remember exactly what it's called, I feel really bad about that now, but his dance number in that is just mind blowing and I'm just in awe. I don't know how people dance like that, it just blows my mind and it's always nice to see him in a show, I've been a fan of him for years, so always great. Marcus Bridgestock really impressed me this time round, um, the first time round I didn't really warm to his Barnum, but I definitely preferred him this time round and I wasn't as anxious at the end of act one as I was the last time. I literally spent the entire interval, the first time I saw Barnum, just in like weird shock because Marcus has to finish off the act going across a tightrope while also singing and obviously still acting and it was just kind of terrifying to watch. I was just thinking the whole time, please don't fall into the audience. This is terrifying. And I wasn't even anywhere near him to be like one of the people he could fall into, but I was just like, please, please don't. <laughs> he actually managed it across uh, in two attempts this time. Last time it took him two and a bit technically because someone had to help him on the final one. But no, I have I have a lot of respect for him to be able to do that because when I first heard that he had to do the tightrope in the show, I presumed it was just like, just doing the tightrope, but to have to like sing and act and also focus on not falling off a tightrope, that's really impressive. One thing I'm not sure I mentioned in the last vlog that I really, really loved was their use of lighting in the show, especially in terms of the not fairy lights, um, like the bulb lights that I had on the ceiling. Um, as you can tell, I like my fairy lights and my lighting. So they had, yeah, these wonderful kind of, yeah, they were very circus-esque lights. They fit with the mood perfectly. And the whole design of this show was gorgeous as well. That's another thing I loved. But the, the way they used the lighting with some of the songs in terms of like, 
I like to call it like pulsing in and out, just going with the music so perfectly. I thought that was really clever, a very kind of simple thing. The show would have been fine without those lights, if you know what I mean, but it was even better kind of because of those magic little moments of lighting. So I loved watching that. The entire ensemble were incredible for this show. So incredibly talented. All of the circus tricks were just mind blowing, especially like the use of fire at one point. And as I mentioned in the previous vlog, some of the girls being pure thrown about, I mean, wow. Everything that went into the show was just insane. And I still wish that I'd been able to see it more times, to be honest. And that's why I'm so glad that I at least managed to see it twice. A couple more cast mentions. It was so, so lovely to see Bethany Huckle in another show. I'm not sure if I mentioned her in the previous vlog, but I last saw her in Half a Sixpence. And obviously this is a really different show for her to be in and just wonderful to see her in a show again. Also, Rosie Fletcher really stands out for me. Um, I must have seen her in Wicked, way back when she was a swing in Wicked, I think like 2014, but she's just got one of those faces that I really recognized. And yeah, it's just nice to see someone in an ensemble like that and think, whoa, you must have made an impact for me to remember your face so clearly, like what, four years on. So yeah, we had a really fun afternoon. I'm so glad that Sean enjoyed this show. I was a bit worried after him not liking The Greatest Showman that he might not enjoy this, but thankfully, he did, excellent times. And yeah, I am so glad that I managed to see Barnum. I would love to know if you managed to see this production at the Many a Chocolate Factory, or if you saw it on their UK tour a couple of years back now. I would love to know your thoughts on the show. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you very soon. Bye.